I'm Dr. Richard Nix with Baptist Health Orthopedic Clinic, and I want to tell you about my experience with MAKO Robotic Assisted Joint Replacement Surgery. Over two years ago, Baptist Health acquired MAKO technology for robotic joint replacement surgery. I immediately started doing total knee replacements and partial knee replacements with that, and I was amazed with the precision it brought into the operating room. What it allowed the rehab uh, to expedite the recovery for the patients because of the precision really impressed me. Now, I withheld my opinion on that until I saw what the feedback came from the physical therapist. They're on the front lines and they see what's really going on with patient rehab and patient recovery. And now, two years later, we see referrals from all over the central part of the state from physical therapists who are seeing that kind of accelerated recovery. And that's a wonderful compliment to the technology that because of Baptist Health, we can now bring that to the patient. What's different to the patient is that we get a quick pre-op CAT scan, just a CT x-ray uh, of the knee in this case. And with that CT, which is a computerized x-ray, takes five minutes, uh, we can, in the computer, build a 3D model of their knee. It's extremely precise. And on that model, we can place the components, rotate, upsize, downsize, get all components perfectly positioned. And then in surgery, we actually place a radar on the femur and the tibia, the thigh bone and the shin bone. And in the operating room, the camera of the computer can see the leg through that radar, through radio frequency waves with exact precision. Then we balance the ligaments and correct any bow leg, any knock knee, any contracture, make all those adjustments. It's actually in all three planes, the sagittal, the coronal, and the transverse. And all those adjustments are in fractions of a millimeter. That's all done before anything is done uh, cutting on the bone like that. When we come up with the final plan that we say there, that's with what we want to finish. I then bring in the robotic arm and with it make those computer guided cuts with exact precision. All the x-rays post-op look perfect because exactly what we planned is exactly what the robot performs. I think it's very important. The difference here is that the robotic cuts are made by the robotic arm. I have control back and forth, but these are different than the old handheld cuts that we've made for decades. The previous, the old fashioned or conventional total knee, the cuts were made with a surgeon holding a saw and it's difficult for some of us to say, having done this for so many years, but the precision of the computer guided robotic arm is better than the handheld human cuts. And that's reflected in accuracy of the surgery and it's reflected in the outcomes and rehab as what the therapists have experienced. So I've been extremely impressed that we could bring this uh, to the patients, thanks to Baptist, and the patient enthusiasm is very great. It's still an operation. You're dealing with humans, not widgets in a factory. You've got to heal a wound and avoid any pitfalls. So all the same precautions are absolutely necessary. From a patient standpoint, I think it's important to know with your surgeon what surgery is available, what technology is gonna be used. And currently, MAKO is the only robotic technology that makes all the cuts computer-driven with the exact precision. Other techniques, um, place pins and uh, other components, but then they use cutting guides and it's the same handheld cuts by the surgeon, uh, almost like has been done for decades. So I think it very important, we're at my knee, that I would have a MAKO robotic-assisted surgery uh, because the technology involves uh, all of the cuts for, in the interest of precision.